Okay, we're here at Sunnybank Plaza Shopping Centre for a demonstration of the strength of Hopper Cab. Go for it, Jake. Absolutely no integrity at all. So this is a dry mix curb. It's been laid with a slurry overcoat. It's quite a few years old. As we know, concrete gets stronger with, with age. Got to uh, remove a little bit of our curb because unfortunately before it was wet, it uh, was graffitied on. So we're just going to give it a go hitting it with a sledgehammer just to show the difference in the strength between our curb and Hopper curb. You ready, Yanni? Give it a go, mate. So as you can see, a lot stronger than the normal hopper curve. Alrighty, start on a new piece, Jimmy. Take the hammer and just hit on the top. As you can see, also we've got the steel in there. I haven't exposed any of the dowels, are you? There's one there. Be able to see that yet? Let's just clear that out so you can see that dowel in the gym. example of hopper curb which has been laid in a car park environment. This is their third try at it. As you can see, no doubt the curb just has just been laid on top of the bitumen. There's nothing there to hold it together. Of course as soon as it gets a vehicle strike breaks away. Here's a shot of the preparation that we would use in a curve on top of bitumen situation. You have 200 long dowels that are driven into the bitumen and sit 100 mil above the top of the bitumen that's then laced across with a horizontal 12mm bar again. The idea is that the horizontal bar ties the curve together and stops it from breaking and the dowel into the bitumen keeps the curve in position on the bitumen when it's struck by the Here's a piece of our curb. Unfortunately, as you can see, it got damaged by rain before we had a chance to finish it properly. So we've got to take this bit out. 
you've seen our demonstrations of our competitors dry mix curve and how strong that is so Jake's about to give this a go go for it Jake Okay, that's 12 inches, Jake. 